match of the day, which is going to be a super hyped one indeed. It's Cloud9 versus Please Sponsor Us. Please Sponsor Us running that Feral Mage Paladin as well as the, the Shadow Priest Mage Paladin. And even Feral Priest Paladin compositions have made their way, actually beating out Tempo Storm 3-2 to in a crazy nail-biter series, as well as going up against Method Black in a 3-2 to series. They have earned their way here to face the monsters that are cloud nine and that's gonna be series number one today then we're gonna go back into that lower bracket which we start off with tempo storm versus donut and then splice versus method orange and there it is oh man i have to say supa i actually really enjoyed watching your boomkin restoration druid warrior uh composition it is the weirdest thing ever and some of the biggest surprises came out but uh how, how are you feeling about that composition after getting uh, knocked out yesterday? Do you feel like it's top tier, or do you think it was just kind of a, a whim thing that happened? Uh, I think only we can make it work. I don't think it's... Oh. Uh, I think it's too hard, man, for the mainstream. That's, it's too hard Ooh. of a comp. I don't think... You'd have to be really good. Actually, I, I really, I really like that you always are trying new things. Like at the the very first day I met you, that was the first thing you said. Is like, do you want to try some weird comps? That was like the, that's that's like your thing. I feel like that's like your go-to is just like you're willing to try anything, and that, I think that's that's good. I mean, it gave you an edge today or yesterday and the day before. You beat Solari Gaming main team in the finals of the qualification tournament, and that was a hell of a series. It was unbelievable. Um, but here we are. We're you going just... in. We're going into the main tournament today, Supo, but do you think that we're going to see another team try to pick up that comp? No. <laughs> just never. I think, though, for a big team, it's like just your spirits, your team spirit in general. Right. Like when we were playing in the qualifier, we just were having fun. Like we were like, yeah, we might we might probably lose 100%, but like we didn't get mad or upset or anything. And then oh, I would wow. say that we maybe took it too seriously, and then it might have put us on tilt. So, like, if we were playing with the same spirits, it would be a lot better. And I, I've seen that with a lot of teams where, uh, like, mentally they think, like, oh, we can't beat this team. There's no way. Right. And then it puts them on tilt. Like, any little mistake, any little mishap, and then just, like, everything falls apart. So, I think that's a big deal for a lot of the teams Yeah, that continue I've... to play. Yeah, that on land too. Like when me and Clutter had the uh, the opportunity to administrate uh, the tournaments for Blizzard, that was like a really big factor going into the into the tournaments. Like these guys before they're going out and making like their stage appearance and waving at the crowd and stuff like that. There was some crazy nerves on all of those teams. Uh, some of those teams would kind of hide them, but you know you definitely could feel the seriousness. And when you're in a tournament scenario, you, it, the seriousness and like everything's just kind of like extra stressed and having a really good mentality i feel like is very underrated so like these these teams that have been coming back to gcd tv and competing over and over again have definitely gotten used to it by now giving them an edge and really showing some crazy gameplay and i can't wait to jump right back into the games today guys so let's just do a quick recap of what happened yesterday eight teams have entered the pro league cloud nine holy crow splice donut tempo storm method orange and method black two teams being eliminated being holy crow and method black from the tournament but two more teams are going to be eliminated in that lower bracket right after the semi-finals so the finals still are going to be one single best of five series, the same format that we've been with since day one of the entire season to keep it fair and uh, just the same across the board. There's just too much controversy and uh, just mind making up to really change the format. Everyone really has to be on the same page. But going into the into next seasons, we'll be able to change the format before the season even starts. But all of these tournaments are kind of just like growing. We're, we're learning we're figuring new things out since day one. That's kind of like been GCD TV's main thing is like figuring out how things work, adapting accordingly and making this an even better experience for you guys. But there you have it. That being said, the team that makes it to the finals through that lower bracket does have to play an entire additional series, uh, which is a disadvantage. I mean, Donut last series actually got knocked out from the semifinals down to the lower bracket and then knocked out of the tournament completely. So it is still a scary position to be in for sure. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god. Do you want to say that on stream? No. No. Because <laughs> then people will do it more often. I uh yeah. Everyone just... in chat will be like, oh I can do that, and then I'm not gonna I don't want that. <laughs> Alright, how about this? How about this? We'll just say we'll just get the, this disclaimer and the chat can make their own assumptions. Make sure that if you're a competing player, just stay in your garrison. There you go. Just stay in your garrison, man. But uh <laughs> Why would I leave it anyway? Yeah, Do I mean, machine? there's so much fun here in the garrison. 
Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the games today. I mean, Cloud9 versus Please Sponsor Us. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to be seeing... Cloud9 has shown their LSD in the past. Do you think that we're going to be seeing it here in the semifinals? Against Please Sponsor uh, Us? I mean, we saw LSD. I don't think LSD. we're going to see RMD. Right. Um, I, I feel like Cloud9 uh, brings out that LSD often when they're facing God Comp. And, uh, I mean, Please Sponsor Us. Maybe they'll run... FMP for their blind pick. I'm just trying to figure out what are these teams going to play for their blind pick. That's the question. Hmm. Well, I think that we're going to see LSD, and I really hope that we don't see Frail Shadow Priest Holy Paladin again. <laughs> no, Brown you're not a fan sponsors. of that comp? That looks like the most... It's like water torture. It's like Cloud9 <laughs> is holding them under the shower and just won't stop letting oh. the water drip on their face until they eventually die. It really is. It's literally that painful and that slow and it's just like i don't think they want to go through that again <laughs> it really is oh my gosh it was very difficult to watch i have to say but uh i mean these guys they've been practicing and they've been playing together for a lot of tournaments at this point please sponsor us ready to step up to the plate can they take on cloud nine hey i'd like to actually get a shout out to Towley, the one and only get those hammers up for that host thank you so much man for that host Towley. i really appreciate that bro and everything you do for the community dude for real but uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask head admin clutter, what is the lowdown? What's going down? Are we going to be jumping into these games soon? Um, yeah, he, he died. And <laughs> he died. He died in the game. And he can't get back to his body, so he's just going to log on. For real? Yeah, I mean, for real? I mean th we've had worse reasons to delay, I suppose. <laughs> Having Like, he's here, he's available, and someone died and can't get back to their body. That, I mean... Oh, they're good to go. They're good to go. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. High and wow PvP gameplay for you. But um, we're going to get into the games very soon. All you guys are giving c do all of your energy. I see it. Chuck is going to need it because he's going up against Splice, which currently is very high rated. I believe they're actually ranked 3 or 2 in the GCD Pro League ladder. So uh, that is a hell of a team for Method Orange to face here in the lower bracket. But they're going to be running that Warrior Lock Shaman composition. They have nothing left available to them. So that's all going to happen in the third series of today, guys. So make sure you're sticking around for that. It's going to be a hell of a, a series indeed. I can't wait to see that as well. Um, the games so far of this entire tournament, I have to say, have been crazy. Even the 3 O's have been not exactly 3 O's, if you know what I mean. Like, there's been some... Like, e like when you guys were facing Cloud9, for example, when Holy Crow went up against Cloud9, there was some opportunity there in some small windows where Cubsy at 1% health, Roasty at 1% health. Oh, my goodness. Just some crazy nail-biters. No, lucky. Yeah, it's all luck. RNG's on their side, man. But our, the Cloud9 might need some RNG going up against Please Sponsor Us. No, Please Sponsor Us lost their LSD in the past, and I'm just going to assume that they're going to be uh, adapting accordingly going into the next series here, the very first series of the of today. Just so you guys are all aware, guys, we're going through all the way to the finals today. This is the final day of GCD Pro League Tournament number 4. And uh, we have some announcements. I always like to leave a little bit of announcements for you guys at the end of the tournament. But we also have, before the tournament ends, right before the finals, we have a hoodie giveaway sponsored by Jinx. So that is our sponsor as well as Splice. We wouldn't be here without them, without their financial support. We also have been getting an absurd amount of subscribers. We're actually at 177 subs, which is unbelievable amount of support considering where we started from. So thank you guys so much for all that support. But here we go. This is what you all have been waiting for. It's the games. First game of the series, Nagrand Arena. Welcome everybody to the Grand Arena. It's please sponsor us going up against Cloud9. Cloud9 actually opting to go with the RMD instead of LSD. And please sponsor us running with Bean Slayer, Chanamiam, which is, if you guys don't know, Sam I Am on a Warlock, and Rub Cube, Rub Cub on a Restoration Shaman. So please sponsor us right away, showing us a brand new composition from them. And I can't wait to see what they do against this RMD. Um, we saw Splice do reasonably well yesterday. 
against Cloud9 with this FLS, but I would, I'm sure that Please Sponsor Us is much less familiar with it, so this could be very hard for them. We see uh, Roasty's opening up onto Sam I am right now, actually cheap shotting him into a clone. Maybe they want to go on to Bean Slayer early on. He is in the center field, he gets kidney shot full. Are they going to do anything out of it? Does look like they're dropping the DFA and the double ice now at the moment, dipping him dangerously low here. Rub Cub trying to pick him up, he gets blinded on his cast, but they actually cloned Bean Slayer at the same time, so Rub Cub's comfortably sitting through that blind. If uh, Roasty's can get the sap though, he gets the full that Beanslayer could still be in trouble. Instant evasion on that incarnation. Beanslayer holding onto that Berserk, trying to make sure that he, do he does not get CC'd on that big damage. Now popping the Berserk, trying to rotate some pressure, but Cubsy's uh, placing his cooldowns very well with that Iron Bark on Wealthy Man. Smoke Bomb even getting dropped almost defensively on Beanslayer. Beanslayer's just going to trick it out of that. He's going right after Cubsy's throat. Cubsy knows that he's in bear form. He's going to bark skin right away. Sam I am going ham. A lot of damage right now onto the entire team here. Uh, incarnation stuns now swapped over onto Rosie's Wealthy Man rotting down. Cubsy's forced to a NS. Cubsy trying to recover through the pressure but he's gonna survive uh, at the expense of a lot of his mana yeah, at the expense of a lot of mana, indeed. Heart of the Wild still going up, but he's having a lot of time healing through all of this damage. Bean Slayer now catching that death from above from Rosies is forced to use that wall to negate some of this damage as Rub Cub put through that clone. But look at Cloud9. They are rotting. Police Sponsor is doing a great job getting that pressure out, but is this pressure going to be enough? The defensive cooldowns are slowly being whittled away from Police Sponsor Us with that wall, but with two links available, Cloud9 still has to get through a lot of these defensive cooldowns moving forward into the game, and the spread pressure is starting to build up quite a bit. Uh, Sam I am on that warlock is doing work. Oh, but Cubsy's getting a drink in the back line. They need to stop this. Cubsy got a lot of mana. Now we can see Please Sponsor Us, though. The Shadow Dance coming out. Rub Cubs forced to trinket and drop his first Spirit Link. Now we see the second Dark Soul out from Chan or sorry, Sam I am trying to get some pressure, but he gets locked out on the haunt. Great counter spell from Wealthy Man. Now polymorphing uh, Sam I am. Rub Cub dispelling him immediately, though. And we can see that Sam I am is going to get a bit of pressure out with his Dark Soul. Cubsy's forced to a Ness to deal with it here, trying to hot himself back up. Looking for a clone. He's going to clone Sam I am, trying to deny the rest of that Dark Soul. Bean Slayer back at the pillar. Is going to be reluctant to play offensive right now with no trinkets on Please Sponsor Us. They are highly exposed at the moment. Wealthy Man has a lot of damage built out with five icicles and that frozen orb. It could be the game if they land this sheep. There's the deep freeze. Shadow Fury comes up from Sam He needs to fear the polymorph. He locks them out, but the clone follows it up. Cubsy lands the CC. Bean Slayer gates away. He's trying to kite away from Roasties at the moment. Defensive fears on the Wealthy Man. Fears over on the Cubsy to deny the reclone, but that means that Wealthy Man is free to polymorph. Bean Slayer is alone, completely alone in the dark on the opposite side of the map. Wealthy man unloads. Will the survival instincts be enough? He's going to Hellstone. He's trying to stabilize here. Rub Cub Gates. He goes into the full kidney shot, though. Defensive maim over onto Roasties. His beans are going to look for the clone. Typhoon's them back. Interrupts the CC, but they follow it up with the bash. Cubsy's going to trinket. They're going to follow up with the full blind. There's still no trinket on Rub Cub. Beans are still completely alone, trying to survive, running around the pillar. Roasties desperately trying to connect. He gets a sap out of the blind. Beans are still in a lot of trouble here. Restock on Roasties. Should finish the game. Beans are gets stunned on his trinket. And Cloud9 take game one. As would be expected, I, I just feel like please sponsor us. Not very familiar with the comp. Oh my god, Sam I am did go ham though. <laughs> <laughs> We'll show him that in a second. We're going over the replay, but Bean Slayer did a, a fantastic job being a live lord, interrupting as much CC as possible. But like you said, I, I feel like a big defensive that FLS has is their offensive. Every single time we saw Cloud9 push in onto the FLS of Splice, they had so much damage and were so like kind of aggressive almost in a sense to push them back and to survive another setup. And this time around, I feel like they just didn't have it. At the same time, both Sam I am and Rub Cub playing alternate characters it is very difficult to play FLS into an RMD, but you have to think. Do you think that they were running FLS anticipating an LSD from Cloud9 and, L and Cloud9 just kind of won that mind game? Yeah, probably. I would I would say that that was probably what happened. Uh, I think FLS would do a lot better than any of their other comps into LSD. And I mean, now they'll have the option to counter comp, although they are down a game, which then it will reverse into the third match. But uh, I, losing this first game is really important. I think that they kind of just lost the mind game, like you were saying, and now um, Cloud9 obviously is going to be like, okay, we pick RMD, and then please sponsors can be like, okay, we're going to play God Comp, and right. they can play a composition they're used to and try and get a bit of an edge with that. So I love, game, I love game, that I please sponsor us. Yeah. Yeah, I love that Please Sponsor Us is trying to adapt accordingly to beat Cloud9 with that FLS. But uh, FLS is a hell of a matchup going against RMD. You should ask Splice about it because uh, they put on some amazing games. But we're going to be getting into game number two here. And that means, like you said, um, Please Sponsor Us are going to have the composition advantage. And the composition will be uh, announced by uh, Cloud9 to Please Sponsor Us preemptively. 
What do you think we're going to see? What matchup do you think we're going to be seeing next? Um, <laughs> this is hard. Next. This is actually difficult to think about. Uh, if uh, Cloud9 picks RMD, then please sponsor us. We'll pick God Comp. If Cloud9 picks God Comp, then please sponsor us. We'll pick FLS. Right. And if Cloud9 plays, plays a LSD, we'll see FLS too? FLS. Yeah. yeah I think Do you so. think that the, this FLS will be able to... I mean, FLS, I've heard, beats LSD, specifically from a lot of people from EU. Um, but this LSD, this FLS is not mains, and that LSD would not be a complete mains. But I don't know. It's going to be... It's going to be a crazy matchup. I can't see, can't wait to see what these players choose to do uh, before we jump into that and before they announce their composition as well as map choice. I'd like to just take a quick moment to shout out Epi23 for the new subscription. You are my 178th sub, man. Thank you so much for your support and welcome to the team. Can we get some GCD hypes in chat for Epi? Really do appreciate that, bro. We also got a donation according to someone who whispered me. Holy crow, we just got, oh my gosh. Okay, so we got a $20 donation that I missed yesterday from Thunderthighs. He says, always fun to watch. Thank you so much, Thunderthighs. It's very generous of you. And on top of that, we had a $100 donation from McKelly Cakes. McKelly Cakes says, keep doing what you're doing. You're the bestest. Thank you so much, McKelly Cakes, for that $100 donation. Unbelievable. Thank you so much, man. Uh, and just so you guys are aware, every single cent that we get through these donations goes directly towards future tournament prize pools so we can continue doing this consistently. So thank you all for your support. I think I just said y'all. I've been in Georgia for a while, man. That's how you know I've been in Georgia a little bit too long is when the y'all start coming out. $100 million. Might as well be, man. It was very generous. <laughs> You have to do the Dr. Evil pinky for every donation over $1 million. <laughs> uh, I do the GCD yes for the new subs. Do I, uh, do I do the Dr. Evil pinky for the donations? The GCD pinky? The GCD pinky. Dude, that reminds me. We, we still need a GCD Supa or D, a GCD Gasm for, for the Supa face. You, you got to send me a, G, you you gotta get, send me a good face Gasm face. Oh, hmm, that's a hard one. Uh, we'll make a poll. We'll make a poll on our Twitter, guys, and you guys can vote to see uh, which emote you want us to have next. We're either going to have a Super Gasm emote or a Super Pog Champ emote. So just vote on our Twitter when we send that poll out, and uh, you decide. <laughs> all right, here we go. Tiger's Peak is the next map of this best of five series. I'll see you all in a hot minute. Welcome everybody to Tiger Speak. It's Cloud9 versus Please Sponsor Us. And uh, you called it, man. It is RMD from Cloud9 and Please Sponsor Us is going to uh, uh, choose Shadow Priest, Frost Mage, Holy Paladin to, uh, to take on Cloud9's RMD. But we've seen in the past that RMD can beat uh, a god comp. I mean, both of these teams have to play so very well to take the series. It is a, a closer matchup for sure. Here we go. The gates are about to open. Cloud9 taking the lead 1-0 in this best of five series. So far, can they take another one off of Please Sponsor Us' god comp? We're going to find out. Yeah, we can see both teams at the moment. Stealth, Wealthy Man pushing forward. Actually, catching a Pet Nova. They're going to pop him out of Stealth. Roasty's unable to get a Sap at the moment. They're going to have to figure out what they want to do. Cheap Shot on Merc Mines. Grote onto Sam Iam. Seems like Sam Iam is going to be the initial target. Death from above. Bursting him down to 50% HP. Now caught into that full Kidney Shot. He's going to blink away. He's still looking to try and get a Polymorph. Not able to get it. Cubsy Shadow melds and avoids it. Sam Iam still taking a lot of punishment. Uh, Merc Mines looking for a massive spell on Rub Cub CC there. He does manage to get it, but the block was forced nonetheless, and Cloud9 taking early lead. Yeah, they absolutely do. That lock is a big deal. Now the cross CC going out on the Merc Mines. I love that they're getting this cross CC on Merc Mines to prevent those Massa Spells, but he can't Massa Spell a blind. Full blind lands on the Rub Cubs, and that's going to force a Trinket Bop over out on a Sam I Am in Cloud9. Taking a lead in defensive cooldowns here, slowly getting through them. Here's the next setup already. Full Polymorph lands on the Rub Cub out of that out of that deep, and now Merc Mines the main kill target. Dipping down to 20% health here into the Grove. Saved by the Light's going to proc as well. The, the Disperse and the Bubble being forced 
forced out from please sponsor us and cloud nine's rmd is just playing with this god comp it would seem at this point merc mine's still in a lot of trouble rub cub leaves the cc gets that hand of sacrifice out trying to prevent some more polymorphs on himself here hodge over out in the cubs he's gonna force the block on a wealthy man please sponsor us fighting their way back into the series here at this point rub cub catching that dr kidney shot merc mines without a disperse catching the death from above he's in trouble whole bunch of damage still going out to him he's gonna line a sight with the aura mastery of rub cub and catch some heals for now but man this has been so back and forth so far and cloud nine still has a, a pretty big victory i don't know please sponsor us has got to set something up here very quickly there's the stun there's the bomb on the merc mines ice nova's going out onto him and they just leave the arena they knew it was it and the rmd of cloud nine is going to take game number two of this series do you have anything to add what, what's your thoughts on that game wealthy man's damage <laughs> <laughs> it's it's that it's was... That swap on Merc Mines, I was like, okay, still got dance. What are they going to do with it? Are they going to try and go on Hypo? What are they going to do? And then I see Cheap Shot on Merc Mines, and I'm like, that's kind of interesting. Like, maybe they'll get one cooldown. And it's like, oh, they got three. <laughs> yeah. So as soon as they got three for one in that swap, like, the game was basically over. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. That was intense, man. I mean, they got the defensive cooldowns. They have just the smallest CC over out on the Rub Cup. Just one Polymorph was able to to get so many defensive cooldowns because of the damage that these guys can get out. I mean, the peels going out over on the Roasties was pretty good there in the opener, but Wealthy Sock with those double Ice Novas didn't matter. <laughs> Forced the defensive cooldowns they needed to take the last... The last kill, man. And here we go. We're going to be jumping into potentially match point of the semifinals between Please Sponsor Us and Cloud9. Cloud9 up 2 to 0, man. 2 to 0. It's Again, not looking good for Please Sponsor Us. It's I don't not. Know. It's not indeed. It's a very long tunnel with a very small light at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, there is there is a, a, a trap door, though. The trap door is the lower bracket, which if they're un unable to get to that light at the end of the tunnel, they will be dropping down to that lower bracket to face some very good teams down there, but potentially up for elimination and having to go through an entire additional series to get there to the finals. Uh, but Cloud9, if you guys are unaware, consist of Roasties, Wealthy Man, Cubsy, and Go Recky. Make sure to follow these guys up on Twitter. They stream all the time, and they provide some super awesome gameplay. And I have to say, Roasties specifically, he did uh, provide me with some awesome gameplay with some karaoke as well. You can catch some Roasty karaoke over on a stream. Uh, absolute pleasure to listen to that. Taylor Swift specifically. Um, but please sponsor us as well. Do stream Bean Slayer. I mean, you, there's a lot of BSX fans in chat. I know there is, but he's going to need your energy here in the semifinals. He's got to win three games in a row to take oh, on Cloud9. But if Bean Slayer loses and C2 wins, does that mean that Officer Bean has to go against his best friend? It's true. It's true. Here we go, guys. It's Tolveron Arena. Actually, they have to win. C2 has to win the next series, and he has to win the series of the winner of the two lo lower bracket series. So he actually has a few series to get through to, to face. Please sponsor us. But here we go, guys. It is Tolveron Arena for game number three. I'll see you all in a hot minute. Welcome everyone to Tolveron Arena. It's Cloud9 versus Please Sponsor Us. 2-0 to zero in favor of Cloud9. And uh, again, we have an RMD versus God Comp. I guess Please Sponsor Us feels that they're, that was just a kind of a, a whim. They can take on the RMD with their God Comp. And we're going to find out if that is true in just a few short seconds. Yeah, I think it's just they lost track of like the cooldowns that Cloud9 had. And that initial damage on Sam I Am was pretty brutal as well. I'm curious if they're going to try and mitigate that a little better this time around. We can see Cloud9 crossing the map in stealth, looking for that sap. They don't get it again. Wealthy Man's going to pop Roasties out of stealth as well with that Blizzard. We see Gouge over on to Sam Am. Who's Cloud9 going to go after? Cheap shot over on to Merc Mines. It seems like he could be the initial target, but he trinkets immediately out of that stun and fears up Roasties. They're going to reverse the pressure on a Wealthy Man, bursting him down very quickly. This is the opposite of last game. Please sponsor us flipping this game on Cloud9's head and forcing the block out from Wealthy Man. Yeah, that was a different game completely. Wealthy Man now down that block. Cloud9 trying to get aggressive. They're going to force the disperse. 
first, and they're going to bomb on top of it. Merkmines may be in a little bit of trouble. Rub Cub actually trinketing, getting that execution sentence off on Merkmines before the cycle and coming out from Cubsy. And uh, they're trading up these defensive cooldowns very quickly against Cloud9. But at the same time, they're playing pretty aggressively. Wealthy Man's got to be careful here at this point. Down one block. He doesn't want to give up another one for free as Please Sponsor us starts to gain their momentum. Merkmines looking to push forward here. Cubsy playing far back. He does not want to get feared up. Merkmines going for it out of the deep freeze. Lands the full fear. Hodge cross CC onto Rub Cub. Ring lands over onto Cubsy as well. And Wealthy Sock is alone. Ice Nova is connecting onto him as well as the orb. Defensive blind goes out onto Sam I am to try to hold Wealthy Sock's block here. And it looks like he's absolutely going to hold onto it. I actually like that blind a lot coming out from Roasties. Some different play styles coming out from him. And here we go. Roasties is still not done yet. Double Garot going out. Half cycling goes out onto Sam I am. Merc mines again the kill target. There's the full kidney shot. Deep freeze goes out into Rub Cub. But he preemptively uses that hand of sacrifice. It gets dispelled, but it doesn't matter. Full clone goes out into Rub Cub, but he gets the bop off right before that, negating Roasty's damage with Wealthy Sock. Still just pumping the pressure out into Merc Mines, but it's going to survive enough th through that for Merc Mines or from Rub Cub not to bubble through that last setup. And now they're turning it around. The Hodge goes over out onto Roasty's. No damage to really set up quite yet. Roasty's is the one who wants to be the aggressor. Polly on a Rub Cub. Cyclone on a Sam AM. Merc Mines all alone. Roasty's trying to connect, but it looks like he's just going to go for a re right now. Cloud9 looking for their next setup once again. Whoa. Yeah, he's going for that re-stealth. Garot sounds over under Merc Mines. Looks like he's still the target for Cloud9 at the moment. Good defensive polymers out from Sam I am there on the roast. He's trying to deny a setup. Uh, Frostra on the Rub Cub, forcing that Order Mastery. Double Fear under the DPS. Full Fist of Justice on the Cubs. They're going to make a swap over. They managed to get the Bar Skin. Maybe they can kill him through it. Do they have enough damage to finish him off? Gouge on the Merc Mines is going to deny the incoming Horrify and potentially Silence at the end of that. So well done. Roasty's interrupting that chain on Cubsy, keeping him alive. Full polymorph though, over on the Rub Cub. I think he might have pre oh master spell out from Merc Mines, but they followed up with another sheep. This could be the last block up from Sam I am taking a lot of pressure from the shadow dance of Roasties down at 33% HP. Rub Cubs desperately trying to pick him up back up. Full clone on the Sam I am now at low HP. Full kidney shot over onto Merc Mines. How is Cubs gonna rotate this over? Another clone on the Sam I am. Are they gonna push forward? Merc Mines has a full fear ready and waiting for Cubsy. He's going for it. Lands the fear on the Cubsy. Sam I am and still in trouble though. Rub Cub forced to bubble. They're trying to hold onto that last block as long as possible. They might still get it. He bops the death from above. Rub Cub uh, looking for that Fist of Justice. I'm not sure where that actually ended up going. Uh, the Bob's still up on the semi am though. Roasty is unable to penetrate through it. Uh, full Sheep on a Merc Mines. Full Blind on a Rub Cub on the lockout. He could trinket at the end of this. He, he might hold on to it. semi am still with that block, but please sponsor us. Are just flailing to keep themselves alive at the moment. Full <laughs> our Ice Block is forced out. CC still following up on a Merc Mines. CC still following up on a Rub Cub. Oh, full Sheep! Yeah. How is he going to stay alive, man? I don't know. He's got help at 30. He's got no blocks left. Hannah Sacrifice being used out of Rub Cub. Out of desperation, trying to juke the cast as well. He knows Wealthy Sock has that counter spell. Can he do it? Can he keep Sam I Am alive here? Ice Nova's going out onto Sam I Am. He's trying to get aggressive. He gets the deep freeze on the Cubs. He can't follow it up with the Ring of Frost. He gets interrupted on it. Great job by Cloud9. Stopping the momentum of Please Sponsor Us. And they're looking to get a kill here very, very shortly. Very few tools left for Please Sponsor Us. Just a trinket out from Rub Cub can that be enough? Roasty's taking a whole bunch of pressure. Devouring play going out onto him, forcing Cubsy to heal through that with Genesis, and his mana's taking a toll, 35%. But I don't think it's gonna mana. I don't think it's gonna matter. And the execution sentence coming out from Rub Cub preemptively on that on that heal. Rub Cub getting deep polyed now. Sam I am in a little bit of trouble. He has that execution sentence, but is it gonna matter? Death from above is gonna force that save by the light right away. Wealthy Sock going in for the kill. Cubsy using the preemptive iron bark, keeping his team aggressive. The bomb now coming out. Sam I am at 2% healthier. What? He's getting what? away. Way. How are you thing? alive, Sam? I am Ice Nova going out, getting rid of that Merc Mine shield right away. But he's still alive. The team of police sponsor us is trying to make it happen. But the double garrote from Roasties is gonna finish the job. And Cloud9 taking a quick 3 0 series versus please sponsor us. Whew. I thought he was gonna survive there. I mean, Merc Mine's even healing him and throwing some bubbles on him out there. Rub Cub leaving the CC, he almost was able to survive that and stabilize, but too little, too late. As uh, Roasties just Got that dance going, got the double garrote, and uh, that's that's all she wrote, man. That kind of rhymed. <laughs> You're a rap <laughs> god. You're a rap god. All right, guys. Cloud9 earning their spot in the main finals. It's going to happen later on in the tournament. You get to see who Cloud9 goes up against, though. Let's take a quick look at that scoreboard before jumping into the next series. 160k eviscerate holy batman 161k eviscerate dude 
Maybe I should play Boomkin Rogue Warrior. <laughs> Dude, the burst would be bananas. All right. Here we go, guys. We're going to be getting into the next game here very shortly. Take a quick look at that bracket. 